As the Arctic chills of winter settle down across the Elko Speedway, the fans of Snowcross prepare themselves for a freestyle show like no other. Inside the Judnick Motorsports trailer, returning champion Ross Martin gears up for another round of racing. Now Ross Martin is walking the tightrope right now. He's got to stay on it and do it just right because he knows he has to go out and he has to win the race. There's definitely additional pressure as the season wears down and there's only a couple of races left. It definitely comes down to the nitty gritty, but we don't want to uh, jeopardize ourselves in position. So I think it, it'll still be um, really good racing and uh, it's definitely going to come down to the last race. You know, you take a look at where Ross is at now, 20 points behind. Everybody goes back and looks at the race in Detroit at the Silverdome and goes, you know, what a deal. I mean, he gets tied up in an incident at the beginning. There's the hood fiasco and in the long run, Ross has got to put that in the back of his head. He can't go back and say, geez, what if, what if, what if. You can't look at that. You have to look at the future and say, here's what I need to do. Here's what I need to do. He has to go out from the start, do what he usually does, pull the whole shot, get out in front and say, catch me if you can, because if he doesn't win, and he doesn't get the maximum amount of points, it's not gonna get him up close enough to Tucker. He needs to make up 20 points. He came back to prove something this year. He won last year. He beat Tucker when Tucker left. Now Tucker's here the entire year and he's gonna prove to Tucker again. He can beat him when he toughs the whole thing out. Ross Martin has got a lot of voices in his head he has to talk to. A lot can happen each round, you know. Last weekend I ended up gaining eight points and uh, we have two full weekends left and it, I could gain eight, I could gain 16, I could gain none and lose some. He knows that he can beat Tucker Hibbert, but what he needs is he needs for Tucker to have that bobble. The bobble that he's seen in the last races that Tucker's been in. He doesn't have the same luxury as Tucker Hibbert. He can't come out and just say, you know what, I'm going to get out here, do my thing, work my way up to the front and just have a good finish. He doesn't have that option. The only option he has is win. Heat three, Martin pulls up to the line. As the green flag flies, Martin and Dan Ebert battle for the hole shot. Martin takes the early lead, followed by Dan Ebert and Willie Ebert. challenges Martin's lead. Martin pulls farther ahead of the pack. Lap four, Martin continues dominating the race. Lap eight. 
Dan Ebert struggles to keep up with Martin's pace. As the checkered flag flies, Ross Martin takes the win. Securing himself a spot in the Pro Open final. When we return, two riders prepare to take the track at Elko Speedway. Can Tim Tremblay move past his disappointing season and take the win? Or does number 68, Tucker Hibbert, have other plans? We'll find out. When the snow starts to melt and the last ride of the season is coming, turn to Amsoil for year-round protection. Amsoil fogging oil guards against corrosion and extends engine life for stored sleds. It'll keep your motor ready until it's time to get back on the tracker trail. And that's today's Amsoil Tech Tip.